Hey guys, it's Calvers 32 Special. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, video I released not too long ago, I was talking about, I talked about the choke tubes on, you know, for my uh, new Benelli shotgun. One of the comments that came up was asking for a little more information from someone uh, actually, you know, a friend of mine on there, uh, Squibload, if, you know, uh, uh, I'll probably tag him in this video so that way he'll see it. You know, he can see it easier. Uh, he does co you know, content as well. If you haven't already, I encourage you to go over and check out his channel. But he was asking for a little more information on shotguns and choke tubes. Now, I'm by no means an expert, but I want to kind of lay out what I know and see if that helps him at all. Uh, we have, right here, we have improved cylinder. Because that's for both of these, you know... I've got three sizes here and the same three sizes here, so I'm just going to go through it real quick. We've got an improved cylinder, which, as this one says on, I'll show it to the camera in a minute, is for close range. We have modified, which is a mid-range, you know, uh, kind of a combination between, you know, a, kind of a, kind of a Goldilocks, you know, a choke, you know, a, you know, not too hot, not too cold, uh, it's not as long of a distance, but it's not as short of a distance. Uh, and then we have full choke, which is going to be one of your long distance ones. These are kind of the go-to three uh, ones that most people go with. There are other ones on the market for different reasons and for different things. But I'm just going to focus on these ones for the moment. Starting with close range, I don't know. If and you should be able to read that just fine for close range. This is the improved cylinder. So on all of these chokes, the back part of the choke, which on the ones with the extended uh, knurled ends, will be the smooth ends. On the uh, on the other three here, the smooth ends here are the back and then the threads of the front. So it gives you a little bit of uh, reference as to what I'm talking about. The back of the choke tube here on all of them, the inside diameter is the same as the inside diameter of your you know, shotgun barrel. In this case, it's a you know, uh, 12 gauge, either a Benelli or a Beretta. Uh, Benelli being the, my current shotgun. Uh, Beretta being my old one. Uh, the difference between... You know, the inside diameter of the front here on this particular Carlson, you know, uh, choke tube. The inside diameter is point one seven you know, point seven one five, which look in the description below. I'll link into there what the uh, diameter of the inside diameter of a twelve gauge barrel is. I don't recall off the top of my head. Uh, this one is safe for lead, steel, or heavy shot. Uh, it can be used for BB loads for like uh, for goose hunting. Uh, it can be used for uh, bird shot or your. You know what? Let me grab a shell real quick. Okay, so we've got three different shells here. Okay. So outwards appearance for most of these shells are not going to be too dissimilar from each other. Primary re thing you're going to see different is uh, the base height on this one here is a short base, while these are you know a uh, or high base, also called short brass and high brass, even though this one's technically aluminum. 
This one here is a seven and a, uh, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch length. This is kind of your standard practice load, skeet load, dove load. These can be fired through any of these, you know, uh, without safety concerns. Then we have uh, number four shot here. This is a hunt. Now this would be a large duck load. Right, well, number four shot would be about normal for duck load. Then this one here is a double lot buck, and which means these pellets are 38 caliber. So it means 0 .380, you know, uh, .380 of an inch diameter, uh, you know, uh, size, which means it can be fired through the cylinder, you know, but not a good idea to fire through the long range, you know, through the full choke. So depending on what you're using your shotgun for, you choose your different choke. Like I said, the modified here, which has an inside diameter of .705, can be used for steel, lead, you know, uh, copper plated, or heavy shot, which are different types of, you know, shot. Yeah, steel and lead are easy. Copper plated, uh, so you actually, there are some rounds, especially, you know, a lot of the buckshot that is, um, Especially like single lots, they take the lead pellet and cover it in the copper, just like you would a standard, you know, a pistol round or a rifle round. Gives it different performance. Uh, da, da, da. let's see, what does Carlson say with this one? Yeah, steel, lead, copper, or heavy. You know, uh, okay, so that's right. You know, that's right because these ones are all hunting rated. Uh, the reason you don't, want, you know, the full choke has an inside diameter of .695. So the inside here is much smaller than the inside here. And being that the seven and a half shot being so loose, like almost like a sand, it can compress as it you know comes through that choke, uh, making it safe to go through any of them, versus the buckshot having larger pellets doesn't compress the same way. Why it's generally not considered safe to shoot through a full choke. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of information there. Uh, what would you use the different chokes for besides just the ammo difference? Think of it... Uh, do I have a good demonstration? Not really. I don't have anything good I can really use. Uh, when you fire your shotgun, the you know powder goes and the primer gets hit, the powder burns, your shot is actually in a shot cup, usually plastic, but there's a variety of different ones that depending on what ammo you buy. The cheap ammo, like what I buy, it's all in plastic. As the pellets pass, you know, as the pellets inside this shot cup, as it passes through the choke, it gets squeezed down before it leaves the barrel. What this does is means the tighter the choke, the denser it is as it leaves. So you're it's only effective out. Let's just say when the pattern gets beyond bigger bigger than say a dinner plate. Mind you, this isn't scientific. I'm just trying to give a basic understanding. Uh, there's books that give you much more detailed information. I encourage for if you want the detailed stuff. It's it's effective until it hits size of a dinner plate. Well. The tighter it starts, the longer it's going to take for it to reach that dinner plate. Uh, as a general rule, there's exceptions to that rule. Let's just stick with the basics. So, you know, the smaller diameter squeezes it down more. The limited, you know, larger diameter doesn't squeeze it down as far. Improved cylinder, let's say this has an effective range of 35 yards. Because mind you, pit and the shotguns are short range you know, uh, guns. The mid you know, has a range of, let's say, this, uh, this was 35 yards. Let's say this one has, uh, you know, the mid range, the modified has a 45 yard. Sorry, 40 yard, my bad. 
you know, 35, 40, and the long range, the full choke has a 45 yard, you know, uh, effective range. Uh, so if you're expecting to be shooting closer, you go with a more open choke. If you're expecting to shoot farther, you go with something a little more restrictive. But you have to, you know, but remember, you have to then pick your ammo based on you know, what you're using. Uh, shotgun slugs are a little bit different than even these ammos here. I don't have any, unfortunately. But your shotgun slug isn't a pellet. It doesn't have multiple, you know, balls like what these have in them, allowing for it to compress. It is one solid uh, cylinder that's the diameter of your, or just under the diameter of your barrel, because it still, still has a shot cup, uh, and it can't be squeezed. So when you're shooting a slug, you know what? These are dangerous. These are, you know, this one is, sorry, the full choke and the modified are dangerous. The improved cylinder, also dangerous, but not quite as bad. You, I don't have one here right now, but you'd actually want to go a nor, you know, a regular cylinder or just cylinder choke, which is the same diameter as your barrel. That's the only safe way to use a slug, you know, to, that I'm my understanding. To shoot a the wrong shot through the wrong choke. Uh, say, worst case scenario, you have a full choke in, and you try to fire a slug. The slug can't get through the restriction in the full choke. Best case scenario, it rips the choke tube out of the end of your gun and, you know, your gun's damaged. Worst case scenario, the gun blows up in your face and injures you and those around you. So a, a basic understanding of, you know, shotgun chokes is a good idea if you're going to be shooting them much. Uh, like I said, there's books out there that give you much more detail that I highly suggest if you want more information or if you're going to be shooting shotguns very much to go you know, uh, seek out that information for improved information. Uh, there is a choke tube that's tighter than the full choke. Uh, you start getting into some of your specialty turkey chokes for example you know they're meant for turkey hunting they're actually more restrict you know they restrict more than the full choke does because it's meant to produce a very small very tight pattern at a very you know at a given range because for a turkey you're trying to hit the head and not hit the body so that's a little more detailed I don't know if I should get into all that uh, I'm not sure what else to really put in, um, so I'm going to cut it off here. If anybody has any questions, please post them in the, you know, uh, into the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll either reference it to somebody who can, or I'll try to do some research and then get back to you. Anyhow, guys, I appreciate everyone stopping by. Uh, if you haven't already, I encourage you to go check out gunchannels.com. It's an you know, online community of you know a pro firearm you know pro Second Amendment people. You'll find them talking about you know and we're not just gun people. I promise there is other things going on as well. You'll find them talking about guns and po uh, gun politics, but you'll also you know uh, get in you know find them talking about food and video games and TV shows, movies, uh, cars. Anything and everything. They have there's a 24-hour lobby chat going on over there all the time. You can jump in, and you never know what's going to be talked about. So, little ears, you know, you might want to check on the uh, the topic before you start letting your kids listen to it because some it can get kind of rough sometimes, especially late night chats. Uh, anyhow, guys, I appreciate everyone stopping by. My content is available not is on you know what uh, gun tube. You know that g u n t u b e dot org dot o r g, uh, gunstreamer dot com, YouTube, uh, as well as 
Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I've recently put together a Spreadshirt store trying to raise a little money for the channel as well as trying to fund a trip out to Tulsa, Oklahoma this November because uh, it's currently February 2019 so I'm looking to try to get out to Tulsa, Oklahoma in November of 2019 for a for the Wanamaker Arms Show uh, one of the, you know advertised as the largest gun show in the world uh, you know get some content out there while I'm out there get to you know get to meet some of the other gun channels crew that'll be out there as well uh, I also have the Patreon, still looking for my first patron at this point, last I checked, uh, which was, you know, uh, yes, last evening, unfortunately, I didn't check today. Um, uh, no notices, you know, got sent to my phone, so I assume I'm still looking for the first. Anyhow, guys, uh, any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, I, you know, if you're a pro-Second Amendment person, or even just, or even not, even if you're learning and you're trying to figure out your way, feel free to create an account over at gunchannels.com. It's free. Uh, also, I encourage you to check out GunStreamer and GunTube. You know, turn on your cameras, start making some videos, interact with you know, uh, Gun Channels crews in the chats. We love to you know, uh, talk to people. We love to teach. You don't have to agree with us completely. Uh, I do encourage you to have your thoughts kind of put together. Have if you want to say something, especially something that's contrary to what's going on in the chat. Have your information to kind of back up why you think that, because uh, it's an opportunity for all of us to learn. Uh, trolls, depending on who you're talking to, are treated differently. Uh, we do occasionally have people come in; they'll just start spouting off things, and when asked questions, they won't answer. They'll just continue spouting off. They usually get ignored. Uh, so I encourage a productive conversation. Uh, you don't have, like I said, you don't have to agree with us on everything. You know, I'd, I'd love for you to chat with us. We all can learn something from each other. And you know, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope this helped. Good night.